Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another cracking. Today we have the seventh episode, last two boost play booster. I still say booster pack is a pretty bad habitude. So this guy is odd. This guy is even, and this is a thirteen. 13 is HOD! Hello there! We have to call our friend Wesley! And we are gonna crack it! Oh yeah, we are gonna crack it! It's not crank it, but it's crack it! So, we have Scorching Dragonfire! Ooh. Long time, no see, bro. Very good. Then, worry watchdog. When worry what ended of die, surveil one. It's three one. Acrobatic cheerleader. Wait, in dusk mode there are also cheerleader, but they are human survivor, so no subtype cheerleader. Why? I want to have a commander cheerleader. Why, wizard? Why I cannot have a cheerleader commander deck? Why? At the beginning of your second main phase, if acrobatic cheerleader is tapped, put a flying counter on it. This ability triggers only odds. Of course, how many times you want to give a planning to this girl? Oh, the girl are settling twins. They are coming in pain. When are settling twins, enter manifest dread, and that's it. For four mana, two to two, two to two, twos. Vanish from sight. Target Nolan permanence. Uh, owner put it on the top or bottom of the library. Surveil two. For four mana, you just uh, give it away. Nice. Vicious clown. Pennywise, this is you? No. Whenever another creature you control with power two or less, until the vicious clown gets plus two plus O oh, until end of turn. Nice. Flash Borrower! Good. Whenever Flash Borrower attack another target killer you control against that Tatachi until end of turn. It's a 2 2. Haunted Screen. Oh, this one seems good. It's. What? He give you. Black and white, normally. If you pay one life, he give you Temur Mana. And if you put 7 plus plus counter on Haunted Screen, it becomes a 0 0 spirit creature. What a fuck, strange card. Oh, bottomless pool. Nice. This is, I know this card from Arena. When you lock this door, return up to one target creature to its owner hand. Uh, whenever one or more creature you control, they come attached to a player. Draw a card. Not bad. Oh, another room! The Filed Crypt. Whenever one more creature leaves your graveyard, the creature 2 2 Black Horror. This is uh, what I say speaking. 2-2 two, two black horror when a card left your graveyard. And when you lock this door, return to the to card from your graveyard to your hand. Amazing! I love this. Under the skin. Manifest Dread, you may return a permanent card from your graveyard to your hand as a sorcery by 3. It's meh. And the Roller Crusher Ride! What is this? Delirium is, ex is X and 3. If a source you control will deal non combat damage to a permanent or a player while there are 4 or more card types among cards in your graveyard, it deals double the damage instead. When the roll crusher, Roller Crusher Ride enters, it deals X damage to each to of up of this target creature, so is a uh, is better than a fireball because you don't have to pay the mana. Is like uh, in Italian is a rombo di tuono. I don't know, thunder uh, something, and it's still on bo on the board after because he's an enchantment, a legendary. This is, uh, seems uh, very good. Very good. Then there is a forest. Oh, this one night. And the the Kaito. Hmm. 
and I think the Kaito, this one, is worth. I will check now the Roller Crusher! Roll, ro roller Crusher! The roller Crusher ride! It's more than 5 euro! Hey! How much value have this suspension? <laughs> so, this one is fine, and the Kato? This Kato emblem? I don't know the emblem how, how to worth it, but the neon one maybe is very very good. So, fast recap. That's it. We still have our heart up. Nice. We still be up. Very nice. So, thank you for watching. For today is everything. See you to the next episode, and remember, trample doesn't work in defense.